say, um, remember I pointed out the bag risk enemy over on that edge by the sea right there that's pointing at the sea, the very edge over there. So, yeah, that enemy's over there. Diva Lockhart said, Hi, I'm Diva Lockhart, Red Mary Oxidon, and she's about assisting in your chat up room. Enjoy the live stream as you chat away. Thank you for being here. Have fun. <laughs> No way! That cannot be what I think it is. That cannot be the town that I think it is. Well, before we enter that town, let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, use a hype on T for another team here, put him through status, and let's use a team, okay? And we definitely want to save here. We want to make sure that Cloud, or yeah, that Cloud has manipulated on him. Okay. Let's see, uh, yeah, the Cloud has manipulated on him. Cloud, you got manipulated on him. Okay, great. Great, okay, we already saved. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's save the space here. Um, there is a very important enemy in this area, similar to the Grand Corn, that has that Grand Punch attack. M remember I pointed out that enemy, and he has that Grand Punch attack? that fills your, fills your character's limit gauge quite quickly. Well, this enemy in this area right here has an even better attack that fills your character's limit gauges even faster. See if we can find it. And this attack is gravity. Nope, that's not it. Uh, those are called Nivelle rules right there, okay? Uh, I forget what the skill is. Uh, I forget what the skill is. Uh, I Or, they talk to me. Uh, uh, oh, I see what it is. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, it's nothing important. Uh, you can steal loot child nuts off of them and they sometimes drop them. Nothing really important. Uh, it's just a type of nut. But, um, yeah, nothing we really need. It's for, uh, for the Togolo Clank Quest, but we, it's a type of nut that we're not going to be using. Uh, but there is something that you can do with them. Uh, if you kill one of them, the, uh, the, the Nebel Wolf will, uh, will, will howl for it and bring it back. And I think you can do that up to, like, three times or something. And you can get a lot of experience for it and get more experience or something. Kinda like in Final Fantasy IX with those epic hats, but uh... I don't recommend it, so... Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't recommend doing that, so... Uh, you can get more experience that way in that battle, but yeah. I don't recommend doing it, so... Anyway, let's try to find that other enemy. It's a purple flying type enemy that's got me. Hopefully it won't take too long to find it. It shouldn't. It's not that uncommon. Come on. Come on, this is not that uncommon. I can almost find this enemy in the game. Okay, here we go. Here's the enemy we're looking for. Uh, uh, that right there. The 
purple and red and we evolve to the next one. That's going to kill him in the bell one. Okay. Said, this chat is Okay, now what we want to do with the Volwin right there, uh, that's what it is, Volwin right there. Say Volwin, okay? We want to manipulate him, okay? Okay, now, see I've got, uh, oh, we can probably heal him too. Uh, get up, don't be really cheap. What we want to do with this guy is pretty dive. And right there, okay. You see how much damage that did on Tifa right there? A uh, dive kick. The way it, the way it works is it's a gravity based attack, and it uh it does it does like uh I think it's like 25 percent damage based on the character's max HP or something. So that's why it feels the character's limit gauge so quick. You see, as you can see, see, see how fast it feels the limit gauge. Look how fast Tifa is. Look at that. Hey, look, look! <laughs> It'll only take like four or five dive kicks to, to, to fully fill the character's limit key. And the lower the character's limit level, the faster the limit game fills up. This enemy, Volwin right here, is the best enemy in the game to, uh, to, to learn the second tier of any character's level of limit play. Whether it's Cloud, Barret, Tifa, Aerith, Red 13, Yuffie, you name it, okay? Any character, except for the two that do not have any second tier of Limit Blade, which are Kate Sith, and our next character who we're going to be getting to, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, all five after this stream, I'm going to take the time to learn Red 13's second tier of his level 3 Limit Blade, and Tifa's second tier of her level 3 Limit Blade, okay? That's what I'm going to do, okay? And possibly when we get our final character from uh, another town after this one, I'll take the time to learn his second tier of his level, level one number, okay? Uh, around this town, or I could do it live, okay? Because it really would not take that long. Okay? And it's even faster if you've got them, if you've got them in fury stats right there. So that would make things even faster. 